Unless, at least I'm blowing up your mentions. One tweet mm -hmm. at a time. One tweet at a time. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh, but anyway, just getting things situated. It's going to be Freight Blitz is going to be the next map of this series. Freight Blitz. So lovely, man. I just love it so much. I love, you sound I like love, you love it. I love Freight Blitz absolutely a lot, and uh, a lot of these amateur teams love it when they're when they're trying to you know put some things together, come out in the community. Guys, pa-gaming.net. Bring your squad on the show. Very easy. Go to the website. Click that sign up button. It's all you got to do. Check this out real quick. Dirk is washed. Nuh-uh. Basically bring in AM teams onto the show. It doesn't matter as long as you guys have a logo and a set complete roster that's probably been established for more than four days. We'd recommend that. Would re uh, yeah, otherwise, that's... you'll come on here and get obliterated, and it's just four grueling maps of myself or other casters like, all right, and the score is 115 to 17. Your boys <laughs> just absolutely tearing it up. So be established. This is an opportunity for you guys to get your name out there. Build your brand, which is important because without a fan base, your team's not going to go too, too far. So you saw the email in the net. Email John at PA, or email PA, really, at PA-gaming.net with your info. Why I'd like to be on the show, and we'll get you on here and uh, shoutcast over you and help you build your team's brand. Tonight, though, it's Energy versus Torque Relapse. We're all tied up one one, and they're in their, they're putting their clan tag as go go yes go start it up let's get it going. We've been waiting on you guys as we're sitting here stalling. Um, speaking of Stalin and uh, Russian Crimea, no, I'm just kidding. Not gonna get into it. We've got Blitz Freight predictions in the chat, guys. I said it. I think whoever takes this Blitz will take the show match, and I'm predicting it to be NRG coming off that hot win on S and D. Your your boys, you know, John and Dirk, they they seem to think that Relapse Torque is gonna take the W here tonight of this best of seven. But let's hear from you guys in the chat. Who are you rooting for? Please let me know. Please, please tell me. Like, just make me feel better that you're rooting with me because I feel all alone over here on Caster's Island, voting for your boys from NRG. Boo! Boo! <laughs> right, first, NRG fans, Dirk no, with the boo. Like I said, I just kind of said relapse because I'm I really am not sure who's gonna win this. It's, like I said, it's really one of those things. I like putting predictions in at times, but this one I just, I don't want to. Don't know why. Like I, just, I'm not feeling it, man. But do you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Do you feel it, I, Mr. Krabs? I I don't know. You're, what... right. You're too old for that. You're too old for SpongeBob. No, but I'm anyway, not. Just while the countdown is going down, guys, we have to show some love to our sponsors since we don't have Putrid Orange here every single night to give us <laughs> as Martin Luther King. I have a dream featuring Honey Badger speech, but we got to give a shout out. This is powered by Honey Badger Pony Wear and Gamers Edge Gaming Glasses. Drink fearless and then Pony Wear, <laughs> wear clothes and then for Gamers Edge Glasses, stop frying your eyes like <laughs> eggs. Wear glasses and don't fry your eyes. Make sure you guys check them out. PAE Sports is going to get you 20% off, I believe, on both Honey Badger and Gamer's Edge, if that's correct, Jonathan. I love it. That was such a beautiful little plug there. And uh, we're going to plug on in with your boys from NRG. Show them some love as they kick off this Blitz Freight. Specifically, I'm aboard with Berserk here. Middle map with an Amtar spots. Juan gets him. He's going to get taken down, though, by your boy Raptor. And already, major trades as three go down from NRG and two from Torque. Yeah, there's somebody from Torque, though, threatening to score. And that's actually going to be your boy Sex Pig as he's pushing up with some help towards the left side of crates. Let's see if they can get on the board first. Yeah, Grimace was actually able to pick up a kill there, but as he started to make a move uh -oh. towards that blitz, he got taken out by two players from behind. Uh -oh. Right now, something that we're seeing, NRG is really getting pushed back uh, into their own thing. Torque got pretty aggressive there at the start, but they weren't able to get anything from it. So we're still scores as we approach the final minute. Uh, final minute? I mean, a minute gone into the game. A 
Okay. Welcome to the show, minute. Derek. I'm your host, Duffman. Hey. I'll be bringing you up to speed. They in always the final say four minutes. They <laughs> always say be five steps ahead. Maybe I'm like five minutes ahead of you. You are and... way, way too ahead. But Muzi, <laughs> we'll put your boys from Torque ahead. One nothing. Not only that, he's got some help from Grim, who's ready to relay another cap as the portal expires. He just wants to stay alive because the longer he can, the more likely to score, and he will for number two. Torque relapse up top right now. Two nothing over energy to start off this blitz on freight let's find out if energy can bring it back yeah some of i want to just point out real quick too sometimes you don't really see ars being used a whole lot on this map but specter is actually going to be the player using the ar for the squad and something i noticed was just in my opinion anyway from the ars that i've seen from the show matches and stuff like that it's either you're going to do really good with the ar on this map or you're just going to absolutely do nothing like you're just gonna struggle with it and then that just kind of gets the frustration in your head then you sit there and you just want to switch the weapon i expect you're doing a kind of good job right now but i mean i've seen like in previous show matches where a player just sat up top red the whole yeah. entire game and he literally went like 27 and like five just absolutely yeah. went off and it helped his team a lot every single player that would try to make a run out for those crates he would be able to pick them off because he has that little view there so i mean it's just if you're going to use an ar on this map pick one spot and don't move be right. be like what we always like to bring up i just love to show them credit after especially going off of regionals even though they weren't able to acquire flawless i mean yeah absolute flawless one AR. of my favorite ar players he's so consistent he plays in his role and that's not running around the rat the map and i agree with you you know most teams they love the 4 MTAR, and I, I am all for the 4 subs. If you are an aggressive enough team, you can hold it. But if you are going to run an AR, if you are, there's really only two spots in this map that are actually crucial if you're spawning Lumberside, and that's top of the middle Owens building here, top roof, or in red, like you said. Otherwise, you're going to be pretty effective because every other gunfight is a close-range gunfight. It's going to be won by the MTARs. Inspector's going to start to feel that pain, so he'll switch over to an MTAR right now. Your score, 4-2, as while we were talking, NRG able to answer back with four caps in those two minute time span 140 left and right now torque playing a little bit more defensive than normal energy getting the best of them up top by two swords yeah as you brought up uh specter actually finally changed his class not going to be running that ar anymore decided to switch to the sub so energy running three submachine guns and there's going to be that one ar and that is actually going to be gassed and the torque running the four submachine guns so i mean like you said with torque getting pretty aggressive specter has had the submachine gun out for quite a bit now like ever since when we like when we jumped on board with them and like went off and all that and we're talking about him he like switched during that but the thing is they're not getting that aggressive uh, I mean, as like a whole team, oh. there's been a few players been able to sneak by, but they're not really getting that aggressive or having four submachine guns. Well, you said it, and you said it correct. Right now, though, Torek getting energy and a little bit of a spawn trap here. And it actually will be Mizi able to push in for a cap there to tie it up 4 4 with 40 seconds left. And Torek starting to flex that pressure. Sex Pig ready to put one on, too, but he will get shut down. Grim, though, with a two piece here will pick up a capture that was a huge play coming from him and that's gonna put your boys from torque up top in the final 30 seconds 5-4 yeah, definitely. As I was saying, straight as I said, they were not going to get aggressive. They were able to get some kills, and then when it was going to be NRG down in the man count, they were able to get something nice going there and able to get some caps. Score is going to be tied 5 to 5, no, 6 to 5 right now. Torque is going to be able to put it. All four players from NRG are currently down one second before they can go ahead and jump into that, and they are wow. going to 7 to 5. And I believe if one player literally sits on that portal, but nobody's going to be in a position to score regardless, but they would have been able to get one more. 7 to 5. Relapse is going to be up by two. Seven, five. It was so close. These teams were neck and neck. Torque, though, able to flex that aggression with the four MTARs we talked about earlier and get energy st stuck in their spawn and relay a couple captures. We'll put them ahead. Up seven, five as we switch spawns and move to the second side energy in what I consider to be the more favorable spawn. Let's see if they can bring it back and take a W over Torque being down by two. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, a more favorable side. So much easier to just really set up a spawn trap when you're pushing towards the side that Torque is currently on. I mean, uh, it's at times it can be really bad. I mean, I know in pubs it's six versus six, and that's nowhere near being competitive and all that stuff. 
But I mean, just the way the spawn system works sometimes, it can really oh. just kind of screw you. Like sometimes you could spawn right in front of someone who's way back in your base. But basically what they're going to try to do is get the players to spawn in the top left if you look at the map. Top, well, top right if you're looking at the map. But it's going to be <laughs> Torque's, uh, Torque's little corner over there. That's where they want to try to get them to spawn. And then when you have a player watching the front of crates and then watching across there too, they're going to be able to do some damage. So that's really how you want to get things set up here in Freight Blitz. Well, Torque setting up perfectly here as they're able to put on another three captures within the first minute. And uh, not holding back is your boys from Energy able to answer back with the same amount. It looks like the second side is going to boil down to whichever team is going to play a little bit more defense after spawning. And right now it's your boys from Torque up top. 10-8, 340 left. Let's find out if Energy can bring it back and take the series 2-1. Yeah, nice stop there by Spectre. Actually able to being able to turn around and take out Gast who came from the underground. So they're going to get that closed down. So a good defensive stop by him. Currently 11 to 8. We still have 3 minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the second side of Blitz. But right now, nothing uh, too special. No big setups or anything like that. But look at Spectre right, right now. He's going to be pushing up on this left side. But the players are going to be spawning right in front of him. And he is going to get taken out there by gas so let's take a quick look at the scoreboard raptor four captures as well as 19 kills so leading the slain department as well as the obj now on the opposite side from torque grim seven captures for that guy 15 and 7 really going off for the team right now and on the opposite though raptor pushing in for energy does get shut down right behind him though is gas and he has a teammate will ready to put one on 10 12 Gas ready to take it to 12-11, not able to do so. This is going to be a cutthroat ending. 2.40 left, 12-10. to 10. Torque on top, but really, Dirk, it's anybody's game at this point. Definitely will. Pushing up on the left side of the crates, able to get a nice kill there. And now he's going to go ahead and try to open this front, trying to escape the gunfire from the players coming behind. But Gas is going to have his back. He's going to be pushing through the front, gets taken out. So big defensive stops there that we're seeing from Relapse. And now let's go ahead and jump aboard. Sex Pig almost at a position to score, but NRG. It's really just coming down to these big defensive stops. The Berserk was able to take him out. And that's really what it is. It's kind of going back and forth with the aggressiveness that it just comes down to which team can make that big defensive stop. And that's really what's going to be happening as we're goes in on that two minute warning only a two will, point game oh Lord. will gonna do a gymnastics move as he dies but not able to pick it up as all four players go down on that offensive push perfectly thwarted by your boys from torque relapse a minute 50 left Dirk. 12 to 10 and right now with all those four players going down torque's gonna have an opportunity to push up and possibly put this out of energy's reach and sex pig gonna pile on a point there to try to make it happen. Yeah, NRG is really going to have to try to pick things up here. There's going to be a player did just slide in. That was going to be Will. So now it's cut down to a two-point game. And right now, just look at the map. There's going to be a player being that sneaky beaver flanking all the way around. That player is going to be Meezy. He's going to be able to slide in and get that cap. So now another three-point game. One minute, 20 left. This is a nail fighter right now. I'm hoping that NRG is going to be able to pick it up and make it to one of those games where it's literally going to come down to that one cap. They have plenty of time to do it. Down by two captures. I'm going to switch on over to actually your boy Raptor right now. 21 and 19 leading his team. And they're within one to put it into overtime. Maybe even take the W. All players will go down there. They're going to have to play a little bit of defense before pushing up. They are within one, so they don't want to get too aggressive and pay for some mistakes here. They've got some torque players to worry about and actually... Whew, that was a big cap coming from Sex Pig. 15 to 13. 40 seconds left for your boys from Ed. And a tie it up. And as Berserk's last alive, it's looking less and less likely. Now, even more unlikely. 16 13 torque on top. Sex Pig right there went absolutely huge. Just picked up five kills, getting really aggressive. Was able to pick up one. Another player came around the corner, pick him up, pick one up off the spawn, and then map some people with that MTAR. So Sex Pig there was really able to set up a little relay that they had. He was kind of like that pillar. Once the pillar falls, that whole setup that you had is going to go down along with it. I mean, he did go down, that did stop. But they are able to get a few caps in that as well. So 17 to 13 is going to be the final score of this blitz on freight. And they go up 2 to 1 in this best of 7. Close, close games there. Really down until the end when Torque was able to run away with it with a few huge team kills 
on energy and they're not allowed to push up relay a few captures and they're gonna best energy in this blitz freight 17 to 13 as dirk said in his best of seven now up two one as we move into domination which proved to be torque's best game thus far and uh it's not looking good for energy if they need to really turn it up if they want to keep their hopes alive otherwise torque is going to run away with it and i you know what i said i'll be honest i said whoever wins this blitz is going to win this show match torque winning it it's yeah. looking more and more likely like they're going to be able to especially